Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And this is the Lumix S9, which has just been recently launched. And I want to share my quick thoughts about this camera. Let's do this. Before we start, here are some important disclaimers. I have no connection or affiliation to Panasonic Malaysia. I'm currently attending the launch of this Lumix S9 in Malaysia. Technically, I did not get an official invitation. I am a plus one to my friend Jaya. So special thanks to Jaya there. And uh, yeah. And this is not a review of this camera, I just got my hands briefly on this S9, so I'm just sharing my quick thoughts. So what is a Lumix S9? This is a full-frame camera, but this is a very small form factor full-frame camera that is designed specifically for content creators. The camera has some special features like live preview LUT, which can, you can actually customize and implement in your shooting process. And these are big specifically for content creators or vlogging purposes. The camera is not really suitable for photographers and I'll explain why. After using the camera for just a little bit, uh, obviously I don't have time to shoot with the camera extensively. Uh, there are things that I like and dislike about this camera. I really love the design of this Lumix S9. It looks exactly like the previous Lumix GM1, which was the smallest interchangeable lens camera made by Lumix. And it's just an oversized GM1. And I have to beat myself up today because I do have the GM1 and I forgot to bring it with me today to do a side by side comparison with this S9. I love the GM1, I love the design, I love the look, it's minimalist, it's sleek, and this is just the same on the S9. I also like the small form factor of the camera, it's very small and very light. I think it weighs about 468 grams only, so on the camera body itself is very, very light. And the camera itself has 5-axis mesh stabilization built into the sensor, which I think is a huge deal for content creators or video shooting. 5-axis mesh stabilization will enable stabilized footage if you are shooting everything handheld. I'm also excited to find that the face detection autofocus is implemented in this camera, meaning that you'll have reliable continuous focus or tracking the subjects that's moving for both stills and video recording. That is a must have if you want a camera for content creators. And of course, I really love that although the camera is so small, it features a full-size, full-frame image sensor. You get the benefits of better resolution, better dynamic range, better high ISO performance in low-light shooting, all the good stuff, and blurrier background, shallow depth of feel if you want to render those super nice bokeh-looking footage. One of the big features on this camera is the real-time LUT, meaning you can put in your customizable LUT into the camera, or you can choose from the available LUTs that's available. You can preview that LUT live while you're shooting, and the LUT is captured in your footage as well, so that when you transfer that to your smart devices, you can quickly share that to your social media without having to edit so much. It minimizes the workflow for content creators. I can see how this can be a huge thing for a lot of content creators, but honestly for me, I don't use LUT when I edit my video footages. I just shoot in flat and I edit them to look as natural as possible. I don't like the weird colors, but hey, that's just me. And I acknowledge the importance of this feature and how it can be useful to a lot of people who want to shoot, edit, and quickly share. Before I share the things I dislike about this Lumix S9, bear in mind that I am primarily a photographer, so some of my opinion will be photography-centric, but I do acknowledge that this camera is designed for content creators. But being a photographer, I do have to nitpick. I really don't like that this camera doesn't have an electronic viewfinder. The excuse is that by removing the electronic viewfinder, you can keep the camera small. That is not true. Previously, they made a GM5, which was just about the same size as the GM1, which is the smallest interchangeable lens camera in the world, and they managed to squeeze an electronic viewfinder in there. So I thought, why not? I, having an electronic viewfinder can make a world of difference for photographers. The second thing that I dislike is that it doesn't have a mechanical shutter, meaning that the camera is prone to bending when you shoot in a uh, low light situation with LED light, and the camera is also prone to having jello effect 
or rolling shutter effect and this can be easily prevented if you just implement mechanical shutter. I understand that my complaints about the EVF and the mechanical shutter that's really related to photography only if you are using this camera specifically for video as a content creator it doesn't really make any difference so I guess if you are a photographer if you want to get this camera for photography maybe not. One more thing that I dislike about this camera is the recording limit. I guess it's the size of the camera that is being made so small, that's why they may have some overheating issue. I don't know, someone has to verify this. So the recording limit is that at, if you're shooting at 6K, you, your limit is only 10 minutes. If you shoot at 4K, your limit is at 15 minutes. And if you shoot at uh, full HD, your limit is 20 minutes. I think that's quite restrictive for a lot of videographers who want to shoot longer footage and chop them up into little pieces, right? Obviously, I only had my hands on this camera for a short duration of time. It's not enough for me to make a full conclusion. Only after I've shot extensively with this camera, I can make a proper review. But this is just a quick preview. Please bear in mind. But so far, I can see why this camera will be suitable for content creators. It is so small, so light, so easy to carry around. It has real-time LUT, which can really minimize workflow. You want to shoot and edit quickly and share quickly. This is the camera for you. It's the only camera available now that can do that. I also felt that this camera could have had mechanical shutter and electronic viewfinder. By having these features, you open up the opportunities for this camera for photographers. I think photographers would appreciate having these features. And finally, I can't help but wonder, why is this full frame? Why didn't Panasonic make this a micro four thirds camera? It can be even smaller, and you don't even have to skim on the mechanical shutter and electronic viewfinder without compromising the size, right? And you can still have all the nice features like real-time LUT. I just thought that this camera could have been a great Micro Four Thirds camera, but it is now an L-mount camera. That's all I have to share about this Lumix S9 camera. It is my quick hands-on preview. If you found my sharing beneficial, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here. Until the next one, please go out and take more photographs. Bye bye. Hey guys, this is Jaya. Say hi to the vlog, Jaya. What's up? Jaya was the one who got me invited. Oh, not really. He was the one invited to the Panasonic event. I'm just tagging along. I'm his plus one. So thank you so much, Jaya. No I worries at all. appreciate this. No worries at all. Hope you enjoyed the, you know, the Lumix S9. S and subscribe to his channel. Subscribe. <laughs>